Hello everyone and welcome back to our Adobe Illustrator course and I'm your instructor Farid Fana. In this lesson we are going to cover everything about brush tool, how to create a custom brush tool, how many libraries do we have, um, how many ways do we have to create brushes, all these things will be covered in this video. So first let's start with brush tool. Brush tool, next to the rectangle tool we have brush tool if you hover on it it will show you how to draw what its name what is its name paint brush tool and its shortcut is B simple as that with brush tool remember one thing we only work with strokes if you draw anything it will be in stroke not in fill like you can see my colors I have fill color 2 and stroke color 2 fill is white Let, let's change it to red and stroke is black whenever I draw automatically the fill color will be removed why because brush tool creates a path not a shape if you come back to your own point from where you started it will be same a path if you create something and come back to the point where you started it like a pen tool it still stays the same because it's brush and it's not pen tool it doesn't matter from where you started or where you're gonna end it only creates path and it only takes stroke if you want to increase the size of your brush just go and increase the size of your stroke uh, and I'm gonna put it to 6 this is how my brush looks like and in here we have some brush styles or some libraries click on this one let's come and draw increase the stroke size so you can see it very clearly change the stroke color to red or orange these are some custom brushes whenever you want to use something new you can click on it select it and then come and draw uh, let's select this one and these are some custom brushes which are already existed in your uh, brush library presets you can add more libraries if you go to library here click on this one go to library we have arrows special arrows click on an arrow which you like to draw click on your brush draw something it will look the same or you can have the brush style you selected So this is something we can create our uh, brushes and when we select the arrows or you can also open your brushes from your window come down and click on brushes your and uh, let's click on brushes these are the brushes you have and this is the brush you select from your library you can delete it just click and drag it to the and then we have this brush You can do your creativity with these brushes suppose you want a new brush or you want to create a brush and you don't have it here the first thing you're gonna do is go to this new brush click on it the new brush uh, window will be opened and there are five options first one is calligraphic brush second scatter brush art brush uh, bristle brush and pattern brush let's come and start from the uh, calligraphic brush okay now you can uh, play with your options of calligraphic brush I'm gonna name it my Cali and if you rotate it it won't matter because your um, dots or your brush size is circle you don't even know on which angle it is rotated around this
I decreased roundness to 15%. Now if I rotate it, I can understand on which direction it is gonna rotate. Let's create it first, then we will go to the other options of them. This is a calligraphic brush with which you can write some random alphabetic letters you want to write. So this is the brush which we created with calligraphic style and you can also edit it back uh, which brush is this this 53 double click on it your options will reappear so this was the calligraphic brush let's delete it and click on new brush then we have scatter brush what does scatter brush do scatter brush doesn't create anything with your own um, options which we had with our calligraphic brush but you need to have some objects or some shapes to create your brush from that shape for example i'm gonna have a rectangle I'm gonna change its opacity, just go to window, appearance, and opacity, go to 50. Now this is something I created with our shapes. Then when I go to brush panel or brush options, click on new, your scatter brush got appeared. It doesn't mean that you create your shape, then it will be appeared. First, you have to create, then you should select that shape or those uh, shapes from which you created your brush or whatever design you have. Then click on new brush. Now let's click on scatter brush. Okay. Here is how our scatter brush gets created. Scatter brush one, name is okay. Size is fixed. Right now these settings are okay. Later on we're gonna come back and do some changes in these settings and let's see how it works. I created the brush, let me delete this one. If you can see my brush is in here. Go click on your brush, draw something. The first mistake which we did, our brush or the shape we got, we selected, it was really big. Decrease its size to this much. Click on it, select it, go to new brush, scatter brush, OK. Create your brush, let me delete it. Go to my brush, it is selected and let's draw something. Now it's fine. Maybe you guys face this issue as well. Because we're gonna create our custom brush in a really large size because we need to see the details. Then we, we're gonna create the same size brush, which is not OK. First you need to shrink it or increase it, decrease its size. After that you're going to create your scatter brush. This is how my scatter brush works. Let's double click on it. Set the preview on. Whenever you set the preview on or check the preview on, whatever changes you bring, it will be appeared in your brush stroke. Let me increase the size or decrease the size whenever I decrease it. You can see my brush shape or brush stroke size gets decreased if i increase some spaces i can put spaces between the shapes of my brushes scatter i can dislocate them from their path up and down rotation rotate them these are the normal sizes or normal uh, settings or options you guys can do now let's come to the next section which is doing your settings in random way to do some changes in these options, first you're gonna change from fixed to random. When you guys change it to random, 
then you are allowed to do some changes here size whenever i increase size here all of the shapes and let's fix this whenever i increase size from here you guys can see the size of each and every shape gets increased but when it is in random and i do it like this maximum maximum height should be 100 size or minimum should be 20. now this is the size of 100 maximum and i think these are the size of 20 minimum randomly it picks the size of your shapes or brush styles of your scatter brush then spaces still we have random space uh, 100 let's put it to 50 or maybe 30 or i can increase it if you increase it you can see the size between or the space between these two shapes and these two shapes are totally different or in totally different degrees now let's play with scatter if it is fixed and you increase all of them go up and all of them come down but if it is random let's come to minus 74 and plus 74 now if you see the line some of them are above the line and some of them are below the line we gave them two degrees minus 74 and plus 74 between these two number whichever number you select or whichever scatter you select locate your shape in there then we have rotation if rotation is random uh, let's come to minus 50 to 50 If you come and see some of them are rotated this way and some of them are straight some of them are that way this is how we can apply our, with our rotation this is how you guys can work with your scatter brush the next brush which we're gonna create is art brush how can we create art brush same like scatter brush we need to have some object or some shapes or a single shape create something like this then go to new brush click on art brush okay you can name it set the size set the direction if it is right or left or it's up and down you can set it from there as well you can change the color right now i'm going to just click ok whenever i click on my brush and draw something the same design or the same shape which i created will be true on the path you are drawing so this is how art brush works and with art brush let me try something else select all three of them click on art brush ok and ok bravo yeah it is possible click on your brush now whenever I want to draw something let me delete this one the same design which I created with my ellipse tool it will be applied or it will be drew on the path you are drawing with your brush tool or paint brush tool so this is how you can play with your art brush <laughs> I don't know it looks interesting now let's go to the next one the next one is bristle brush tool with bristle brush tool you can create some shady brushes select this one increase the size bristle length bristle density bristle thickness opacity and stiffness you can play with these settings and click ok then you select your brush tool draw something increase the size let me change from yellow to black this is something we created with our bristle brush tool i haven't used bristle brush tool much I only use it sometimes whenever I do some paintings or, or drawing some illustrations maybe it's possible to use it there then we have the last one pattern brush tool pattern brush tool you need to have a pattern first same like scatter brush tool art brush tool then you can create your pattern 
If I click on pattern brush tool, okay. I have the options, but I don't have the shape to create my pattern brush tool. For doing so, I need to create a shape first. Let me create something really fast. Change its color to gray. And let me put another shape. So I created a shape like this, then I select it, click on your pattern create brush tool or new brush, click on pattern brush, OK. Now I have something here. My brush name is road, suppose base, I can give them 20 and let's see how it looks. It gives breaks, but I don't need that. So let's get rid of it. The pattern brush tool automatically created. I know how the line looks, but I didn't give them the design to how it will look in the middle or in the corner. No, not in the middle, but in the corner. It automatically gives you some options in which you can create your pattern as the demand of your design. I think it will, it will be suitable to say like that. And in the corner, it will look like this. In straight line, it will look like this. And let's come to this one. In the next corner, like here, how will it look like? Because it's inside. Do you want it auto-centered or do you want it auto-between? I want it auto-centered. At the end, how would you like it? If I put this, it means that from here, it is started. Or at the end, what do you want it? If you want this one, you can click on it. If you don't want it, you can leave empty. Click on OK. Let me delete this shape. Whenever I draw a brush now, the same problem which you faced before, I need to decrease its size. Then select my new pattern brush. OK. Set my sizes. And yeah, finished. Delete this one. Select your brush tool. Now, whenever you draw a brush, you're going to draw a road with that. It was a rough road. It's not like the real road. You can play or you can spend more time on designing your road or not just road, the rope, um, the design which you can set on your patterns, the sewing so, or the ceiling designs, the things which you know that it's necessary to be designed for your brush tool or pattern brush tool. You can play with that. You need to spend time in your designs. So this is how brush tool works. Um, I know it was a lengthy lesson. I was about to cover blob brush tool two in this lesson, but let's change it to the next lesson. In the next lesson, we're gonna cover our blob brush tool. I hope you guys understood something, how to create brushes, how much it is necessary to have your own custom brushes to ease your work and yeah and subscribe the channel and stay tuned to learn more about adobe illustrator